All throughout history, statues have had deep significance to those that put them up. In some cases, statues were erected to commemorate a conquest or a pivotal battle. In other cases, they were set up to honor leaders of historical importance. But even more often throughout history, statues have been constructed for spiritual reasons. In the Western world, the worship of statues is very rare today, but the global elite are still obsessed with decorating key landmarks with art that has very special significance to those that are in the know. It is not just a coincidence that capital cities all over the world are adorned by extremely bizarre statues. Every single one of those statues has a meaning, and the vast majority of the population is totally oblivious to what is really being communicated. Last week, I posted a video about a really weird statue that was just put up right outside UN headquarters in New York. The giant statue is called the Guardian of International Peace and Security, and the UN is telling us that it is a fusion of a jaguar and an eagle. But is that the real story? As I pointed out in my previous video, this new statue is reminding Christians all over the world of the beast described in Revelation chapter 13, and of course the beast of Revelation chapter 13 represents the Antichrist. So, did someone at the UN actually intend to set out a welcome mat for the Antichrist by authorizing the display of this truly bizarre amalgamation of creatures? I thought that the story was done once I published that video, but it turns out that there is more. One of my eagle-eyed viewers pointed out that in some of the videos, you can actually see another statue of a mysterious figure riding a horse. I did some research, and I discovered that the other statue, entitled Peace Monument, was created by Croatian sculptor Anton Augustin I in 1954. According to the UN, this is what the statue signifies. Carrying an olive branch in one hand and a world in the other, with a cloak fluttering on her back, and on a horse in a stand suggesting a powerful forward movement, she is symbolically leading the nations of the world towards peace. The fact that the figure riding the horse has an olive branch for an arm seems to indicate that peace is being offered, and the fact that she is holding a world in her hand seems to indicate that she has control of the entire world. So, what is the message that is being communicated here? Are we supposed to understand that we will finally have global peace if we will just hand full control over to a world government headed by the United Nations? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. When I first saw the statue, I was immediately reminded of the rider on the white horse in Revelation chapter 2. And I saw when the lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering, and to conquer. The fact that the rider in Revelation chapter 2 seems to be male, and the rider on the peace monument is female, would appear to rule out any link at first glance. However, I looked up Revelation 6 2 in the original Greek, and it is not clear whether the rider is male or female. Interpreters have always assumed that the rider must be male, and so male pronouns have always been used when translating that verse into English. That certainly puts a different spin on things, doesn't it? Of course many believers are anticipating that the breaking of the first seal will be one of the events that initiates the seven-year apocalypse that was detailed by the Apostle John in the book of Revelation. Could it be possible that this statue which has been sitting outside UN headquarters in New York all this time is actually foreshadowing that moment? If what I have shared already is not weird enough, there is one more statue at the United Nations that merits our attention. It is called Enianwu, and it was presented to the United Nations by Nigerian artist Ben Nwanwu in 1966. In this case, it is very clear that Enianwu has a very deep spiritual meaning. The following comes from Wikipedia. The sculpture is a representation of the female Igbo, mythological figure and earth goddess Ani. 
The piece is emblematic of the sculptural traditions of the Igbo people and of the art of Benin. The piece references the saluting of the rising sun and veneration of the supreme Igbo deity Chukwu. Ani rises out of the ground to salute the sun and arches toward the sky. She wears a headdress and jewelry made of coral, the traditional regalia of the Edo people. Her head is modeled after an Edo portrait sculpture of a queen mother. She is adorned with matching hoops bracelets on her wrists. In another article on Wikipedia, it is made clear that Chukwu is actually a sun god that is represented by our physical sun. According to the Igbo people, who are the majority in the southeastern region of Nigeria today, Chiniki is the creator of the universe and everything good in it, along with rain, trees, and other plants. Chukwu is a supreme deity, represented by the sun. Nimrod of ancient Babylon is the original source of all of the sun god worship that eventually spread all over the world. Unfortunately, the influence of sun god worship can still be seen in almost every major religion today. And the Antichrist will ultimately be the fulfillment of what so many sun god worshippers have been looking forward to all throughout history. He will be the capstone on the pyramid and the great leader that occultists have been looking forward to for so many generations. So once again, this appears to be yet another piece of art at the United Nations that we can link to the Antichrist and the Book of Revelation. If you think that I am making too much out of all of this, that is okay. In the end, these statues aren't going to be what really matters. What is really going to matter is that we truly are moving toward the times described in the Book of Revelation, and that means that all of our lives are about to be turned completely upside down. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.